that's an axolotl. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Hannah Martinez and I'm a senior here at Harvard College living in Kirkland House, which is one of the 12 upperclassmen houses here on Harvard's campus. Kirkland is a pretty small community. It's best known for its tight-knit bonds, which are fostered by our administration and our wonderful, wonderful staff. I have many fond memories of being in Kirkland, such as participating in I Am Dodgeball tournaments and being an actor and writer for our entirely student-run, student-directed, and student-written plays. Now that I've told you all the wonderful things about Kirkland, uh, let's show you around. So what we're looking at right here is just my desk. Although truth be told, I rarely, if ever, do any work here. Uh, usually you can find me with my laptop doing work right here on this table. And then over here, you can also see, you know, just my wonderful view outside of the Kirk and Courtyard. Uh, you can also see uh, we've done a lot of decorating here. Um, these paintings are actually um, all of mine. And yeah, they definitely liven up the space. So overall, you know, this is kind of where you can find me if I'm studying pretty much at any given point throughout the day. We had the first annual Kirkland Bora Bash. They had a massive Build-A-Bear machine and you could basically come and buy a stuffed animal and see it get stuffed by the Build-A-Bear machine. Um, her name is Sol Ray and she has a heart inside of her and she is wonderful and she is like three days old. All right, now that I have shown you around my common room, which you know seniors often get pretty large spacious common rooms like this one, I'm going to show you over to my room. Just ignore this mess that's behind me. Um, and yeah, so I live just down this hallway, which means that you know if there's any noise coming in from the common room, I'm pretty insulated from it. Uh, as you can see, I have done some decorating. And yeah, we can just go right on inside. And this is where I call home sweet home. Uh, as you can see, you will immediately see that, wait a minute, why don't you have a twin XL bed? One of the people who lived with us, she was a second semester senior last year. And so when she graduated, we had this you know, empty room and we had this leftover bed frame. So we just played a game of rock, paper, scissors and I was the one who came up on top. So now I have this very, very large bed um, and then you, get to decorate however much you like. And yeah, this is pretty much where I sleep and where I call home. So that's my room. Uh, now I'm going to take you over to my bathroom. The way that my bathroom works here is that we have one bathroom that's shared between two people. My roommate is just on the other side of that door. And basically it's shared between the two of us. And then the rest of my roommates share another bathroom that's connected to their rooms as well. Uh, just some basic life Pro tips for those of you who may become college students soon. Command hooks are a life saver. Uh, so for example, right in here, we don't have enough towel rungs for all of us. So I just went and bought like a bunch of command hooks and now we have towels all over, uh, which are just kind of hanging off of command hooks. I don't want this to be a command hook advertisement, but they have really come in handy for me as a college student throughout my time here. Up next, so what we're going to be doing is visiting our house library, which is located inside one of the oldest houses here in Cambridge. And um, then after that, I'm going to be showing you one of our main common spaces called the junior common room. And finally, our dining hall. Let's get going. I'm standing in Hicks House Library, which is the house library of Kirkland House. So Hicks House is one of the oldest houses in Cambridge and was actually owned by a man who ended up dying in the Revolutionary War, after which this house became the property of Harvard. The concept of a house library came about because people wanted a space to study in the 12 upperclassmen houses. And so people just kind of thought, well, we have all of these gray and beautiful libraries, but what if we you know, dedicated a library solely for the use of each specific house? Nowadays though, Hicks House isn't used just as a library. We actually use it during Halloween as a haunted house um, and call it Haunted Hicks, which is a lot of fun. As you can probably tell from all the creaky noises that you're hearing as we're climbing up, um, it is definitely a pretty perfect place to hold a haunted house because it has all of these unique and hidden rooms. It has a secret back entrance that leads out into the street. And it definitely has just the old atmosphere of a very, very old 
colonial house. And that's kind of why I love to study in Hicks house. Next up, I'm going to be showing you the Finnegan Family Junior Common Room, which is the main common space here at Kirkland House. Uh, and then we'll get going on to the dining hall. We're now in Kirkland Junior Common Room, which is one of the major common spaces here inside the house and where a lot of Kirkland magic takes place. For example, every semester, this is where Kirkland Drama Society will be holding their plays. You will see the entire room filled up with chairs as spectators look to get a glimpse at the latest antics that the society has come up with. It's also the meeting place of quite a few non-Kirkland affiliated groups here on campus. For example, on Friday nights, the Harvard Radcliffe Science Fiction Association holds a massive board game night right here in the junior common room. Uh, you'll often see students studying, eating, and just you know having a good time with friends out here in the common room as well. Right over there is the Kirkland Dining Hall, which I'll be showing you right now. Now we're standing in Kirkland's Dining Hall, which is responsible for feeding all the students of Kirkland House. Uh, the dining hall is home to some pretty special and important events throughout the semester. Uh, for example, in the fall, it's where we'll be hosting our holiday dinner, where all the house comes out in their finest holiday gear, and we hear some awesome senior toasts from the graduating members um, of our house. And then in the spring, this is where we will be holding our John Thornton Kirkland dinner, which is named after uh, John Thornton Kirkland, who was a former president of Harvard and whose portrait you can see just down there. Thanks so much for tagging along with me on my dorm and house tour of Kirkland House. You know, you've got some really awesome things here in Kirkland House, such as our small community and some amazing common room spaces. And I'm glad that you tagged along with me to see all of those wonderful things 